Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Charizard and Hydralisk on Newkirk Precinct. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Hydralisk from Psionic Gaming. Oops, Psionic Aftermath. I apologize. And in the bottom left side of the map, we have his opponent, the Blue Terran player, Charizard from Pokemon. Charizard was one of the starters in the very, very first Pokemon game, as far as I know. And let's get right on into it. This is a High Masters game, sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com, with the subject of Masters game, super intense, so I figured I would cast it. All right, I think we've seen Hydralisk on the channel before, and uh, Charizard as well. At least there was another Pokemon name a while back. Maybe it was Pikachu or... Bulbasaur or something along those lines. I can't remember. Hatch first here out of Hydralisk. The going into the extractor, into the pool. This is a build that has been safe against Terran ever since Wings of Liberty. People figured it out. They could do a hatch first type play against Terran, and Terran couldn't do a lot about it. So this is what it's been for many, many years now. There goes the pool from Hydralisk and the extractor. No one's going for a third. <gasps> Three hatches here before gas. Mm, gasless opening out of Hydralisk. Charizard is going to have a Reaper out very soon. Again, based on the fact that he's getting this gas, he has 100 gas in the bank, enough for a Reaper and other fun stuff Charizard wants to do. So there's our Reaper. His name is Jackson, a roamer of the wasteland. Jackson was once an agent for the shady organization known as Gazdrin. But after he learned too much, they left him to die with a small band of Terran. Oh man, they left him to die. He is in Zergland. <gasps> and they knew that, so they left him here, hoping the Zerg would finish him off. We'll see! We'll see if they can finish off Jackson, because... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see if, how fast Hydralisk will get his queens out. No queen yet. No queen yet. Has enough money for it. Does he want to start them? He wanted to start them at the same time. I understand that. You want to get those synced up. As, as much as you can, so you go inject, inject. You don't have to come back two seconds later to inject the next one. So he waited a little bit, which means Reaper Jackson has some time here. Six wings on the way, but they will be slowlings. Scouting out. Does he actually? Does he? He sees this, right? He sees this third base. Yeah, he sees the third base. Okay, good. And then comes right on in here to the natural base. No drones here. Hydralisk very smartly not putting any drones at his natural base, recognizing they are fairly undefended. Hits himself with his own KD8 charges, Jackson. That is not a good start, dude. Not a good start, and backing out, he just runs for it. So got some scouting information, saw the early, early third hatch. Uh, Starport on the way from Charizard. Mm, could go for like a Banshee follow-up. I feel that'd be pretty good here in the situation. Blowing the Queen toward himself with his charge as Charizard, and then taking some shots to the back of the head. Never face away from a Queen. They can, they can sense fear that way. Still not putting drones in his third base. Well, now he is, because he knew they were undefended. But uh, now he is putting drones here, which... I guess these lings might have speed sometime soon, but not enough to save these drones if the Reaper wants to kill them. He will have to go on creep to kill them. Oh, they're transferring to the natural base. Okay, excellent job there. Having some lings to protect them as well is a good job here. Jackson just kind of keeping an eye, kind of keeping an eye out here on his Zerg opponent. 31 to 25 total harvesters. Meanwhile, it is a tech lab on the starport for Charizard. Double Hellion here as well. A Hellion Banshee opening. Very good. Very, not as good now that Queens have the extra range, but still pretty darn good. So Jackson here with his Hellion buddies. A Raven from Charizard. Early Raven from this dude. I like what I'm seeing. Clear creep tumors out. Throw down auto turrets. Use PDDs. I'm liking all of this. Killing the larva at the third base is Charizard. Excellent decision here. Slowing down the production ability of Hydralisk. I mean, he's gotten three drones out of this third base, but it really hasn't been helping him that much with the macro stylings of the StarCraft II match. So here come four Hellions and a Reaper. Going to pick off two Creep Tumors. Ooh, cancel it. Oh, doesn't cancel them. Ow, that hurts. These Queens have to put down new Creep Tumors, and they don't have energy to do it. There are three here at the top of this ramp, though, and a Queen popping here at the third base, but running to her sisters here at the natural. Yeah, so, I mean, bottom line here, this third base from Hydralisk is pretty much locked down. I don't know if getting this third hatch early helped him, at all. I mean, another queen got out, which is fine, but look at these larvae that are getting killed. That doesn't show in units lost. What? That's huge. That's a huge thing to count in units lost. I would do that if I were you, StarCraft, but I'm not in charge of the display things in replays. So, Hellion's <laughs> trying to kill this base. They're not going to do it. 
They could Hellbat transform if they had an armory, but I don't think that they have one of those. No, they do not. Lings, oh, running in here to the natural base. Lings getting on top of everything. Getting Oh, the no, the SCVs, run. Run, SCVs, where are you even going? I don't know where they're going. They're not going inside the main base, which seems a little bit odd. They're trying to come back to the safety of these Hellions, but there are two Hellions versus about 14 or 15 Zerglings here. Good positioning. Here by Charizard so far, all the Hellions come back home to try to deal with these dudes. They're doing a great job of roasting them up. But uh, that was a, a few dead few dead SCVs there. Four dead SCVs to be exact. 36 to 34 total harvesters. But in exchange, 16 dead Zerglings. Resources lost. 200 for the Terran. 400 for the Zerg. But again, losing Lings is a little bit less important than losing drones when it comes right down to it. Viking killing an Overlord here outside the main base of Hydrolesk. An auto turret thrown down on the main base of Hydralis. Can it kill the queen? It kills the queen and then gets taken down by Lings, but picking off a queen is totally worth it for an auto turret. Again, if these dudes were Hellbats, I'd feel better about them against these queens, but there are exactly six queens here at the third base of Hydralis. Does he have, and he's got one in his natural too. He is really going with early Lings and queens for defense. Marine production has begun for Charizard, getting that combat shield, getting that stim, plus one, plus one on the way from Hydralis for his Lings and Ultralisks and Banelings all at the same time. All right, so Charizard took some shots there. Did a pretty good job running his SCVs away from the Lings. Only losing four SCVs when about 18 Lings show up in your natural mineral line is pretty good. Pretty good. Hellions roasting up all the drones on the third base. Where did the queens go? They left them alone. They left those drones alone, and now seven drones have been killed. It's 42 to 49 harvesters. Hydralisk droning up like crazy, losing some, but I think making up for it in the long run. He's got seven more drones in production right about now. Concussive Shell. On the way from Mr. Charizard. I wonder how many people clicked on this video because it said Charizard on it. <laughs> Looking for Pokemon videos. And they see StarCraft instead. Armory just now being constructed by Charizard. And a fourth base by Hydralisk just north of his natural... What is that? A Baneling Nest. Okay, so we're getting some Banelings with the Lings. No sign of a Spire though. As Hydralisk does have a lair but not doing anything with it. Another auto turret thrown down here by Charizard trying to kill drones. Actually doing fairly well. Drones running for their lives here. Auto turret. Bam! Ten drones have been killed so far. This Raven Harass, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Out of Charizard continuing to make those Marines. Switching into a very bio-Marine heavy composition is Charizard. And if he keeps these Hellions alive and can transform them into Hellbats, this could turn into a very strong push. Here at about the 8 minute mark indeed. So moving out is Charizard. As he threw down the supply depots. Is what he did, but uh, not actually moving out. So, hmm. Baneling speed on the way, making 9 Banelings. Banelings, pretty much what you want against Hellbats and Marines. If that's what your enemy's composition is. Jackson's still alive and he has a kill. We'll give him credit for a drone kill. How about that? Let's give him credit for a drone kill. He's still alive at 7.5 minutes, which is amazing. Or 7 minutes and 50 seconds. Again, Hellbat transformation would be incredible for you dudes. Let's do this thing, Charizard. Hellbat, Marine, Marauder, Metavax in the sky, double pumping those guys as well. Only one, two at the front lines here, which you probably want more than this. If you're gonna, there, there's a Hellbat transformation. Look, it started healing as soon as they started transforming. So they start counting as biological as soon as that transformation begins. I've never understood this, but that's fine. Widowmines coming up to the front of this creep and burrowing themselves. And oh, gonna get those queens. Oh, one queen down, two queens down very quickly. Good start to this attack from Charizard, clearing out creep tumors. A Lings rolling in. No, you can't do that, Lings. Banelings are here. They don't have speed, though. I'm not sure about this. Widowmines need to get to the front and burrow immediately. Lings trying to come from the back side. I don't know about this. Widowmines are gonna fire. Woo, killing so many Zerglings. But there are enough to pick off most of the Hellbats at this point in time, but there are still Marines, still Hellbats here. A good Terran player knows that if you still have a few units remaining, you're gonna be just fine, as it turns out here. These Marines do have plus one attack. They got Stim, they got the combat shield, the Widowmines firing on whatever the heck they want to fire on, because they are Widowmines and there are no Overseers in the sky right now. Oh, these Widowmines are gonna kill these Queens. They're gonna get these Queens. They can finish their cooldown, and there we go. No, the Queens get out of range just in time, but more Widowmine shots. Whoa. 19 kills and 13 kills on those widow mines. Nobody show Austin. Nobody show Austin that at all. Speed Banelings now rolling in. Getting off creep. Not where you want to be. Oh, widow mine firing and actually getting more friendly fire than anything else with that particular hit. So these front lines are turning into quite, quite the bloodbath right now. Many Terran lives have been lost. Many Zerg lives have been lost as well. Jackson's dead, isn't he? Jackson's totally dead. <laughs> He's in there. Lings and Banes rolling in for Hydralis, trying to deal with these dudes, and wow, cleared those guys out very easily. Nice hit 
Nice hit. Raven does have how many kills? 13 kills to his name. I'm pretty sure Raven pilots are dudes. If I remember properly, more four queens on the way for Hydralisk at once. A bunch of lings at the same time. And Charizard doesn't have a super healthy looking army at the front, but he is up 120 to 96 total supply while having a worker deficit. So his army is pretty big. I just don't know where it is, is the thing. Widow Mines here with eight kills and five kills. Bam! More kills. 13 kills now on that Widow Mine that I previously mentioned. Lings with plus one, plus one. Pretty good though. Pretty good in these situations. More Widow Mines coming to the front. Is there an Overseer that picked off most of those? I assume there must have had to have been. Another Widow Mine shot. Oh my gosh, 23 kills on that Commander Widow Mine. Banelings, yes, there is an Overseer with Hydralis. So the uh, Widow Mines aren't quite as good as they previously were. Nice job by Charizard avoiding the Ling Baneling, using Metavax, picking up a dropping in a separate location and reinforcing with his units. Plus one armor is done for Charizard. Not working on plus two though. This is pretty darn intense. At this point in time. All right, what the concussive shell is done for these marauders. Another auto turret here in the main base for Charizard. This is, this is Raven still alive. Where are you, Raven? That's so Raven. Where are you, dude? Are you dead? You're Ah, the Raven got picked off, but man, lives on. Lives on in the number of drones that have been killed in this game. 19 drones have been killed in this game, exactly. Crikey. So two base in it is Charizard. I really feel like a third base would help him pretty much... Pretty immensely at this point in time as it is a four base Zerg player, but Ling Bane can't really go on forever. As we are seeing here, so many burrowed Widow Mines just eviscerating those Lings, but taking the Widow Mines with them were those Zerglings. So many Zerglings. Oh, that hit was a big one. Eight kills on that Widow Mine. That would have been really bad for Charizard, but Widow Mine saving his day on that battle for sure. Just. Oof. Third base is almost dead. I feel like if Charizard pushes in with Marauders, he can finish it off. But no, so many Lings and Banelings come in. No Marauders, you are not allowed to kill our hatchery. Thank you for asking, but the answer is no. I appreciate the politeness you displayed in asking that question. Widow Mine does fire on a single Zergling, which is what Hydralisk wants to do. He's just holding with Lings, man. This is what he's doing. At this point, is it an all-in from Charizard? I kind of feel like it is. 58 to 45 Harvesters. Hydralisk has four bases. Charizard has two resources. A loss, 6,000 for the Terran, and 12,000 already for Hydralisk at this point in time. Ling's trying to get up here. Oof. The Widow Mines. 28 kills on that Widow Mine. It does. Nope, it doesn't die. It's still alive. Ling's getting us around on these Marines. Pretty well positioned, but there are just too many of the Zerglings. Too many Zerglings here. And forced to pick up. Reland is what Charizard is doing. Marauder streaming across the map. Still has taken a third base. Is Charizard now? Dude, that hatch is so close to dead, but too many lings. Too many lings on the ground right now. Queens are picking off medevacs that are a little bit careless, a little bit too close to the creep here. Should pull back a little bit. Marines at the front lines. They refuse to go home. They're going to try to kill a queen. She has plus two armor, though. That's pretty good stuff. Plus two melee attack is done for Hydralisk as well. Making mutas now. Okay, there we go. That helps. Uh, the pure Ling Baneling struggles against Terran, especially into the mid game. But with Mutalisks, it gets better. That third base is going to fall, and it does. Third base dies. Got a lot of good mining out of it. Did Hydralisk, which is fantastic. But oh, here comes the Muta counterattack. That's more than I thought there would be. There are 11, 11 Mutas in the sky flying across into the Terran base. Actually, Charizard lifted off his command center to make a third. He doesn't even have a command center in his main base anymore. That's kind of incredible. Free Metavex. Says Hydralisk, no, boosting away. Medivac stay alive. Big deal here. Big deal. So third base gone. Mutalisks laying waste to the SCV line of Charizard's third. Oh, bad. Bad news for the Terran player, but still coming in with his Marines and Marauders. Lings and Banes trying their best to hold off the Terran assault here. Spore Crawler just firing away at Medivac as fast as it can go. Because it's going to be off creep soon, and it will die. But it already has two kills. And trying to get more. Oh, he does pick up a third one there. Excellent job. The Muta's forcing the liftoff of this command center for Charizard. And they get it. Gets it. Suddenly stuck on one base is Charizard. That did not go very well at all. Replanting his third is Hydralesk in the top of this map. We'll call it a fifth. It's a fifth base. The third base is just gone at this point. Sport Crawler with four kills. Again, off creep and burrowed, which means it is losing HP rapidly. Oh, good. Picked it up, and it stops losing HP. I never understood that, really. Wider buildings are like a static defense that is burrowed off creep die, but static defense that is not burrowed off creep is totally fine. I don't... What's the difference here? It's both off creep, right? All right, so Muta's very happy with themselves, having shut down that third base 
of Charizard. Big deal. Charizard might just have to go for it at this point. I don't know if he has enough to go for a third base right now. That was intense, dude, says Hydralisk. That was super intense. Charizard says yes. He has 100%. You are absolutely correct on that one, my friend. Plus two, plus two lings, plus two, plus two bane lings, infestation pit on the way for Hydralisk. Charizard has never really got that giant critical mass of Marines. Hydralisk says, I have no idea who's ahead. The answer is probably you. 138 to 96 total supply, 27 to 59 harvesters. Zerg leading in both of those aspects. Hydralisk, that fourth, that fifth base is under direct assault right now. Widowmine's trying to kill those Hydras. And actually doing a pretty good job here. Medivac's obscuring what we can see here. Muta's trying to get rid of these uh, these uh, Marauders, and they do. That's it. That's it for the Terran army. He's trying to relift and land, but there are too many lings and too many Mutas in the sky. Mutas with plus one attack, and that's it. Good game. Very well played, says Charizard. Oh, look at that good manner. And Hydralisk is our victor. Excellent, excellent work out of Hydralisk. And that was a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure from Charizard. But again... Again, just never really got that big number. I don't feel like he ever had a huge and like scary army. It was always just a little bit, a little bit too small. The baneling hits were a little bit too good. The link surrounds were too fast as well. The mutas came out a little bit late. Charizard was able to live with zerglings and banelings longer than I thought he would, but he kept his upgrades going, which is a massive deal. Let's see if we can find a marine here. Yeah, just plus one, plus one done for Charizard at 15 minutes. You gotta get that plus two, plus two. I know, I know you're busy, but. The two base all in. If you don't get a third base soon enough, you're just going to die. That's how it's going to work out. So good job by Hydralisk getting the win, and that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.